it is an absolutely beautiful morning. So it's Tuesday. There's, uh, there's no wind. It was a little bit chilly when I got out of the car. Just look at that view. Look at our electric fence there ticking away, waiting for a victim. Good old Theo Kelly is offered to uh, test out the uh, electric fence for science. So I'll be filming when that happens. I'll hold him to it. So I'm gonna kick off with Ripper's Run. I did that yesterday to check it out. And I'm just gonna session some stuff on it, get an understanding of the flow of the trail. And, uh, and then maybe next time I hit it, take a, a good run at it. There's a couple of features there. There's a good drop into some really chunky stuff that I might take a couple of runs at and yeah, see how I go. I may chicken out. We'll see how we go. Again, gotta get used to that. I love the tight corner, so much fun. Oh, that looks alright. This is one. Oh man. So it's just, I looked at the video yesterday on this and it just does not look big at all. But when I'm here, it really does look pretty big, but not necessarily bad. Chunky rocks on the bottom. I'm just gonna put the bike down. Maybe if I get below it, I might do it some justice. Good thing is it's kind of a straight line in more or less so you're gonna land about if you're doing it right you're gonna land about here so that's about <clears throat> my head is probably my head is probably halfway up that rock sort of height <clears throat> by the time you land so you want some speed straight off there some chunky sort of jagged rocks that you'll want to miss and then straight down that trail oh, man that is awesome so it's a stand up next to the rock it's kind of about up oh, probably just under the nipples <laughs> um, but where you're landing is quite a bit lower For my viewers, I apologize for all the, the noises I make, the uh, <clears throat> clearing my throat, the <laughs> clearing my nose. <laughs> I know my wife's not a big fan of it. She understands these are natural things and they're, they're, it's kind of hard to avoid. <laughs> she gives me great feedback, my wife. I tell you, if, uh, if it wasn't for her, I think the first vlog would have been double the length. And... Uh, now, she's got a, uh, <laughs> she's good at giving me the right criticism. I mean, sometimes her delivery is a bit full on. <laughs> I've got to try, try not to get too sensitive. Yeah, man, I've got this. But yeah, in regards to my wife, she, she very much compliments me. In, in, in a positive way, 
she she tempers my enthusiasm and, and really helps me uh, produce a better result. And that's that's in, in many aspects of life. Except to being a husband, because I've got a lot to learn there and everything she says is wrong. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't know what it's like to be a husband. I'm gonna just take a couple of rolls at this. I'll probably stop at the lip, check it out, see how I'm feeling. And if I'm feeling right, I'll push a bit further back up the trail. And I'm gonna send this shit. I don't think this one's too bad. Like it looks scary when you're there in real life. That's good speed there too, I reckon. But I don't think it's one you need super speed for. Just commitment. So trail speed, you'd not have a problem on this. So right there in the sweet spot. Straight through. You also don't want two speed on the tail end of it. Too much speed. This is one of the things I love about mountain biking. There's things that scare the shit out of you. Then you do it. I mean, right now, you get this nervous feeling. If you can embrace that. Oh man, the feeling you get. There's that nose again. The sense of achievement. It's pretty awesome. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Off camber corner out of it. <laughs> pretty happy with that. That's what you want, You're stepping it up a little bit. It wasn't perfect execution, but pretty happy with that overall. So I dropped into the left here yesterday. I like, that's something Nick was telling me about. This time I'm gonna go the other line. I like this, this is nice and chunky. I'm getting smoother on that. Oh, Nick's done some clean up up in here, thank you. Well, someone has. Very chunky do it there. to knuckle up which goes to where I was before or right into where that drop is I think it was dirt shredder connection I may be wrong 
Here's that crazy feature. So we come off into a drop, which is awkward as. <laughs> that is so cool. Way too terrified to do that. I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna do that other trail. So what's this one? Yeah, that was not, uh, that was, yet yeah, dirt shredder. I'll just turn around so you can see that. We're gonna go into knuckle up. I'm gonna check it out. So we'll join onto one of the other trails somewhere. Oh, cool. Rocky, techy stuff. Just gonna work out my line there. So, I reckon some speed and just straight off those rocks would be all right. Always those off camber, I love drops. It's so cool, but scary. Speaking of off camber logs, that's fine. A little step up. Oh, this is cool. Sometimes it's hard to understand how all these trails fit here. Oh, I see. I see what are. Big aspect of today's ride was really about facing your fears. I, uh, I've been spending some time over the sort of chunkier technical part of uh, Green Valleys and Chunky tech is is what I love, and actually what I'm used to from riding a lot of um, a lot of trails at Mount Kira, and uh, I'm loving it in there. There's a, there was a feature today for as an example, and you would you would have seen that the bit where I was talking about how much I love my wife, and uh, that feature like it, I can guarantee you know, I know it on the GoPro it will look like nothing in real life. It's 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 chunky enough, but then once you ride it it's actually really not bad at all you, you've got a um, fear is a part of mountain biking i mean fear is a part of life full stop um but the thing i like about mountain biking is you're actually yeah you're channeling the energy from fear and turning it into something and i think if you can use that in life i think that's a really important thing um yeah, when i you know i took a good two or three runs up to that drop before i did it and yeah I was feeling butterflies, I was feeling nervous. And then when you drop in, you just, oh, that feeling you get is just, oh, it's so good. It's it's really hard to explain. It's 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 a high. I mean, who needs drugs when you got this? Um, that's the way to start Tuesday. Anyway, I'm out. See you.